day students. My name is Lassisi Ajadi, your physics teacher for today. Our topic for today is dispersion of white light, the learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to use the concept of refraction through lenses and glass prism to explain the one, the dispersion of white light, two, spectrum of white light, three, recombination of spectrum of light, four, pure and impure spectrum of light, five, production of pure spectrum of light, six, primary, secondary, and complementary colors of light, seven, mixing of colored pigments or paints. Now, let's start with dispersion of white light. What is dispersion? Dispersion is a separation or splitting up of white light into its component colors of orange or of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, which can be summarized as Roy beef after passing through a glass prism. The colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet are collectively known as the spectrum of white light, with red light least deviated and violet light deviated most. Also, red light travels in the glass with the greatest speed, while violent light travel in the glass with the least speed. But in a vacuum, all the colors travel with the same speed. <clears throat> Recombination of the spectrum of white light. The component colors of white light can be recombined to give back white light in the following ways. One. When another glass prism, similar to the one that separated the white light into its component colors, is placed in the part of the dispersed light in an inverted position, the colors are seen to disappear and only white light is seen on the screen. The disappearance of the colors was due to their recombination to reproduce white light. Two. When the colors of the spectrum are made to fall on a row of small rectangular play mirrors, on adjusting the mirrors so that they reflect the light rays to the same spot or point on the screen, a white patch of light is formed. 3. When a metal disc is divided into seven equal parts, and painted with the colors of the spectrum. The disc is then spun fast, and its color seems to be white. As the disc slows down, the individual colors are seen again. These three experiments, as performed by Sir Isaac Newton, confirm that white light is made up of seven colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violence, which can be summarized as Roy Beef. Now, pure and impure spectrum. What will differentiate between pure and impure spectrum? The spectrum produced by a glass prism only is an impure spectrum because the different colors overlap. When while a pure spectrum is that in which the colors are clearly separated or distinct from each other. Production of a pure spectrum. How can we produce a pure spectrum? A pure spectrum of white light is produced by using a source of light, a narrow slit, two converging lenses, a 60-degree prism, and a wide screen. We shall be looking at how to produce this pure spectrum after we return from a short break. Welcome.
Welcome back. During our last lesson, we listed out the materials needed for the production of pure spectrum. Now, to produce pure spectrum, those apparatus needs to be arranged as follows. One, a narrow slit illuminated by a bright source of white light. This produces a series of narrow colored images which minimizes the chances of overlapping colors. Two, a converging lens produces the parallel rays that are incident on the glass prism. The slit is placed at the principal focus of the lens to ensure that parallel rays are produced by the lens. Number three, a 60 degrees glass prism disperses the white light into beams of colored light in the form of parallel rays. Number four, a second converging lens which collects the parallel beams of different colors and brings each to a separate focus in the focal plane of the lens. Five, a screen are the focus of the second lens on which the color bands of the spectrum appear well defined, that is clearly and distinctly. I want you to note that to obtain a clear spectrum, you will need a very fine slit or narrow and a bright light source. Also, if the second lens is not used, you only obtain a fairly pure spectrum. Now, let's look at colors and mixing of colored light. We're going to start with primary, secondary, and complementary colors. A. Primary colors. These are colors which cannot be produced by mixing any two colored lights. They are red, green, and blue. If the three colors, if the three colored lights are mixed, they produce white light. The adding of primary colors to produce other colors is known as additive color mixing or additive color, additive combination of colors. B, secondary colors. Are colors which are produced by mixing two primary colored lights. Examples are mixing red and green will give yellow. Mixing blue and red will give magenta. And mixing green with blue, green with blue will give cyan. Complementary colors. These are any two colors which give white light when mixed. Examples of such mixing are green and magenta will give white. Blue and yellow will give white. Red and cyan will give white. From the color triangle, you will observe that each secondary color mixed with primary color are the vertex opposite to it are complementary colors. Thus, green and magenta, blue and yellow, red and cyan are all complementary colors. We'll be back after a short break. Welcome back to the third session of our presentation. We are still on colors, and we now want to look at mixing of colored pigments, that is, paints. The mixing of colored light 
is quite different from the mixing of colored paints because paints have impure colors it consists of more than one color so it reflects more than one color the mixture of paints is known as color mixing by subtraction or subtractive color mixing the primary colors of paints are red blue and yellow if the three colored paints are mixed they produce black paint secondary colored paints are mixing red and blue paints to give purple paint mixing of red and yellow paints to give orange paint mixing of blue and yellow paints to give green paints that is the secondary color paints are purple orange and green now complementary colored paints are any are any two color paints which give black when mixed examples of such mixing are mixing of yellow and purple we give black mixing of red and green we give black mixing of blue and orange we also give black and from the color paints triangle each secondary colored paint mixed with primary colored paint are the vertex opposite to it are complementary colored paints thus yellow and purple red and green blue and orange are complementary colored paints now let's look at colors of objects how do we see objects the color of an object depends on the colors in the light which falls on the object and also on the absorption and reflection of this light by the object for example a red flower appears red when exposed to white light because it absorbs all the colors except red but it appears black or dark when exposed to blue light now let's take the following as a practice exercise one in the spectrum of white light formed by a glass prism which color is deviated a least b most number two what is a pure spectrum name the colors that make up the pure spectrum of white light number three when white light is passed through a glass prism it is broken up into its component colors this phenomenon is known as what number four primary colors of light are dash 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 number five state the condition necessary for the production of pure spectrum thank you very much for listening god bless you